Hello, I'm Dudley Thompson and welcome to Highlights of the Camperdown Classic. And in full red, Brenna Williams. Former youth of the 20 World Champion. Olympic relay gold medalist. He's a here for the 60 meters. An invitational race. Helena Simons. In lane 3, 2017 World Championship 4 by 1 bronze medalist from Legacy Athletics, Jura Levy. Yes, Jura! In lane 4, the 2018 World Honor 20 Spring Double Gold Medalist and 2022 World Championship 4 by 1 silver medalist from Titans Track Club. Let's make welcome Brianna Williams. <laughs> running on attached, running on to play number 5. Let's make welcome Daniel Kent. And in lane 6, representing Swept Track Club, let's make welcome Rohanna Wright. She too has fans. The 60 meter final for women. Women's 60 meters finals. Obviously, you've um, been working with Titans in your background training. Do you, have you seen the early fruits of, of, the, of that work? Yes, definitely. Um, we're, we've been working on endurance and the last one of the races, and it's just a start. Um, it's getting to the 100 and 200. What do you feel that you've made in terms of the most improvement in your mind? Um, I'm just work, working on my end part of the 100. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of goals for, goals for this season, in terms of what do you think in terms of the most important thing that you want to accomplish for this year? Um, just to... It, um, surpass my personal best and also to run consistently 10, 7, 10, 8. Mm -hmm. How do you like how you competing locally this early in the season? Usually we see you towards the back end of the season mm -hmm. the and so on. What is it, what is it like to you? Um, I actually went in 2020, I competed at the Queen's Cruise Justin. So um, I just felt like that. And I'm happy to be here um, competing. Um, I just feel at home and I'm so happy with the crowd and the atmosphere today. Do you have any other sixes on, your, on, on my list for the season or this is the first and last one? Yes, the Gibson Relay is on February 20th. Uh, what's the major difference in uh, training locally as compared to training overseas? Some, some might say uh, training here in Jamaica might have certain distractions. Is, is that the case? Um, there's no distractions, um, just plenty of hard work and um, just focusing on the goals this season. Do you see any other local meets before? Yes, the Gibson Relays and several others, I'm not sure. The start looked pretty sharp. Um, this is your usual start. Did anything change when you start doing the preparation for the season? No, nothing changed. Mm -hmm. I know you're enjoying the training with your new Yes, I am. I'm enjoying my coaches and my teammates, and I'm enjoying training. Okay. Yes. And of course, being in the likes of uh, Shelly and Fraser Price, it pushes you over. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, my teammates push me every day, and they encourage me, and I'm so happy to have them. Thanks so much again. You're welcome. Thank you. So, providing an interview for us here. Oh, up here for with them, Brianna Williams. One more. Alright, Bob, alright, Bob. One, 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 
2018 Pro Indoor CC Meter finalist, a 2017 Asian Championships 100 meters gold medalist from the Islamic Republic of Iran. Let's make welcome Asan Atoftian. The 2021 South American Women's 100 meters silver medalist from Swift Track Club, Emmanuel Archibald. That's the lineup for the men's invitational 60 meters. Everyone, they're starting blocks now. You're watching WDT Media TV. And also, you're live on Music 96.1. The men 60 meters here at the Campodon Classic. Akeem Blake, 6.63. Ewan Blake, 6.64. The man from Diana, training here in Jamaica. Comes to the fourth third. Here to fourth up here with Brianna Williams. Finally, men disappeared. Fans seem to have been, I get high enough of Brianna Williams. All the high school athletes. Mm -hmm. Open spot in this next batch to be the next Brianna Williams. Ewan Blake and Brenna won't come down after the 60 meters. Blake finished second, 6.63. And Brenna won women's section. No warming down after that win. And that second finished by Ewan Blake. Yes. That's now the fastest time this season. 
Second fastest time now this season. Second fastest time now this season. Second fastest time now this season. Second fastest time now this season. Second fastest time now this season. Second fastest time now this season. It's only February 11. Wow. 44 7 4 the third for Wilmers. Now the third fastest time this season. Wow. So the race itself, as announced by uh, um, Mr. Smith, uh, that the announcer yeah. that the 4447 by Calabar, the 4465 by GCA, and 4474 are the first, second, and third passes on the scene. Wow. At class three. At class three, boys. And this is just the second in the film. Wow. You don't want to do that. Are go too fast too early? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, are there more to come? From champs time. There's more to come at champs time. King's Oak has been defending champions. Uh, they were left out of this from the second, second yeah, second and, and somehow on the back foot when we saw JC flying, um, it was an indication of great things to come. JC held on. Calabar was right there and Wilmers got into the statement. But just about 50 meters or so, Calabar, the athlete was on the last leg, certainly one to watch out for individually, but Calabar is a team to watch out for general. Right, yeah. Section 2. Bridgeport in lane number six, they have gone out strongly. So two great for four more in lane one. But they're back to pass, not, it's not going to be made. Manchester Hall in the outside door. They're comfortably away at the moment. It's Manchester High in lane seven. Being chased by St. Catherine in lane five. Great. St. Andrew Technical there as well. Into the home stretch they come now. And it's Manchester High from St. Catherine and Mona. St. Catherine and Manchester High. Manchester High with the advantage. Manchester High from St. Catherine. Manchester wins it. St. Catherine second. And maybe the team from St. Mary High across the line in third. 44.93 the flash time. Section 3, five teams in this one. Calabar have gone up quite fast here. Already gaining on Jamaica College on the outside, but JC begins to pick up pace as well. Clarendon College on the outside, flying Herbert Morrison with some work to do, and so too St. Diego in lane 2. It's Calabar, based on the stagger with a slight lead, and then in Jamaica College, Calabar, then JC. As they go across the line, 4 to 1, 95, ahead of JC, St. Jago, and Herbert Morrison Technical. Welcome to Orion Kadamo, India, courtesy of Road Resolution Sports Foundation. The field here as was Sean Clark, the 2022 World Under-20 meter Hurdles bronze medalist, formerly represented Camper Down and storming down the back stretch. It's for Sean Clark of Swept Track Club now with the advantage. On the outside is Alexander of Lake Ridge High School. But for Sean Clark, hard to keep handles with at the moment as he turns into the home stretch. Miles trying to stay with him, but it's Clark. Looking smooth here in his season opener. The man formerly of Camper Down. Looking good. First year as a senior. Clark will take this one easily. 47 5 0 the flash time. Just ahead of Miles of Lake Ridge High School as well as Alexander also of Lake Ridge High School. So the final section of the 
Castle Boys, 800 meters on the way. The Jamaica College trio of Candale Fu, Kemario Bygrave, and Nicholas Power. It's actually Omarion Davis in third. 400 meters left. So it seems to be by grape and fruit. Fletcher trying to respond into the straightaway now. So JC one two in the final section of the Carlstone Boys. 800 meters and it's the fastest time recorded on the day. 1 minute 52.82. The athletes have been battling a strong headwind in the home stretch since morning. <laughs> and several big names missing from this one, but Jayla Green of Jamaica College takes the move by the horn. It's speed, throwing fast. Barnes of Steel Town and on the outside, Benjamin, 10.88. So 10.88 in cash time, 92.9 meters per second of a weak speed. Seems like that she's seen one too. Benjamin gets the ball at 10.60 seconds. Reed, his teammate, 10.63. Car, KC, 1075, the top three in section one. 21 sections for class one, boys. And that the council, and again, click like, share, and subscribe, and as usual, thanks for watching.